Welcome back to Let's Play Faunasphere. Today Watson's going to Camp Gobblefield. It's found in the rock garden. So let's jump there. We'll head off to the right. Watson can smell turkey cooking. This is a seasonal world, so you'll have to do it during November. Let's jump in there and see what the goals are. We'll follow the path up to the goal station. And the goal is right beside a Lux store. And there it is. Ooh, quite a few goals. We'll start with the three sisters. Esteban has a quiz for us. This is just a one-time goal. For Thanksgiving, I'm thankful for ingenuity. So I'm offering a quiz to all caretakers. Agricultural ingenuity in particular. During the times of the first Thanksgiving, there was a method of planting known as the Three Sisters. Question 1. Which was the first crop planted in the Three Sisters method? Corn or pumpkin? Well, we picked corn. That's right. If the soil was particularly weak, the corn would be planted on top of a dead fish acting as fertilizer. Question 2. The corn was planted first for the benefit of which other sister? Tomatoes or beans? We picked beans. Correct. The beans were a great source of protein, but were a climbing vine type of plant. The corn acted as a pole for the bean vines to climb. Beans contributed too, though. A harmless bacteria that bean roots attract helped draw out nitrogen from the soil to help the other sisters grow. Last question, the final sister. Who is she? Squash or turnip? We pick squash. Yes, squash's job was to choke out weeds with its thick ground coverage of leaves. The squash protected the others from weeds and the corn provided the shade that the squash needed. So you see, each sister helped one or both of the other sisters to grow in some way. Well, I hope you learned something, but even if you didn't, at least you get a reward. And we get baby gourds, daddy gourd, and a mommy gourd. Thanks, Esteban. Now, let's try parade balloons. The prospector has a hankering for a historical reenactment. Going to help uh, out old E.P. again, eh? That straw hoofer reward really brings him in. Y'all laughing? Well, yeah. Thanksgiving has a bit of history that really tickles me. They used to have these things called parades on Thanksgiving with giant balloons. I want to make me a balloon. So brass tacks, here's what I need. Yarn and fluff. Check your checklist for the list of which ones I need. Drop them right here on the goal station. All right, I guess we better see what we need. Starberry fluff, lime thyme fluff, fluffy yarn, and inky yarn. You can buy inky yarn at the store in the rock garden if you don't have any. Let's see what we've got. Well, there's a starberry right there. Starberry fluff coming up, Prospector. And let's see what else we've got. Oh, 
Oh, I see somebody else is getting their pumpkins. Oh, there's some fluffy yarn. Let's give him that one. Drop it on the goal station. Ta-da! What else do we have? There's the Lime Time Fluff. We'll give him one of those. And do we have Inky Yarn? It's probably dark look. There it is. It's very dark looking. Aha! We do have one inky yarn. Yep, yep, thanks a bundle. A bundle of straw in the shape of a hoofer. There we go, we got a straw horse. Check back here again sometimes. I might have more need for fluff. Ooh, somebody's going to have to keep their eye out and see if he really does put up another goal. Now we're going to try Changing Changers. This is a new one from last year. You know those name changer things? You win them in the daily goodie bags? They work real good on fauna, but I've been wondering if you could use them on um, anything else. Have any extras? Take them to the sorbet stump and turn them into a voucher. Bring the voucher back and I'll give you this harvest chomper. I'm sure Uncle Esteban won't miss it. They make him sneeze anyway. Gross. Well, I bet we have a name changer or two, even though I like to use them. We will sacrifice for the sake of Let's Play Faunasphere videos. It says we can use all of them, but I don't really want to, so we'll make two vouchers. There's the Harvest Chomper. Vouchers are found under miscellaneous. We'll put one on the goal station. Great! Soon I can figure out the recipe for that name changer pie. Have another slice, Uncle Esteban. Or is it Uncle Estupidon? Oh, jeez, Nina. Mm, don't tell anyone I said that. All right, if we go back to the goal station, we can take the name changer again. And if we accept it, Nina says, I need so many vouchers to make for my special pie. So she'll give us something from her uncle's lab. So we can do this goal repeatedly and we'll end up getting all sorts of different gobble time presents. And what did we get this time? Come on, Nina, get over it. And we got a drumstick platter. So you never know what you're going to get after that first time putting a name changer in. Now let's go to the pie drive. And Amelia says, we're collecting all kinds of pies so all the fauna in the wildernesses can have a big feast. All it takes to make a pie is a pie crust, which is on sale here in the fall store station, and some cooked or chilled foods. Those are premium foods. If you don't know how to make 
those, you need to go to the Meyer Knoll station goal and get that goal. When you've gathered your ingredients, take your pie crust and premium food to the pastry stump. Okay, you can mix them in there to make feast pies, which you can add to the project. All right, now that stump's just down a little bit from where we are. But let's go see where this project is. Oh, look at this. If we follow this trail... Oh, there it is. I ran right past it. Let's go see what this trail holds. Oh, look at these teepees. This must be where the Native Americans are. I'll warm myself by the fire. I think some of these teepees are for sale, not all of them, but some of them are for sale in some of the stores around here. You'll have to go check it out, dear viewer. And there's the cornucopia. It's like a canopy in the rock garden where you can add your things. First we need to stop at the fall store and buy some pie crusts. And we're going to buy about, uh, I don't know, a hundred and five we bought. So we'll get some premium food and throw it in there and create our pies. I better create one more real quick. Use up all those pie crusts. Because they aren't good for anything else. And there we go. Now, we'll go to the Cornucopia Project. And... These are the top raffle prizes. We need to wait 20 minutes to be able to go again. So we did a little cutting and editing. And let's find our pies under ingredients. Throw them in. And we've won mashed potatoes cherry pie and pumpkin pie. All right, let's go home and wait for the cornucopia to fill up. And when it does, we will get a message on our screen and find it in our gift tag on the totem. And we got it. So let's go check the gift tab. And there they are. The big, cher huge cherry pie. Mashed potatoes. You need five tickets to get mashed potatoes. And the huge pumpkin pie. So we'll accept those because we're getting hungry can't feed them to your fauna, but you can sure drool over them. So let's go thank our Native American fauna friends, and good luck. We'll see you later. Bye.